Hey friends, it's Miss Hoffman again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool optical illusion where it looks like the sphere is popping out of the checkerboard background. Now this is more geared towards my third, fourth, and fifth grade friends, but my kindergarten, first, and second grade friends, if you feel like you want to have a challenge, you go ahead and try to work with us. My my daughter that is going to be entering kindergarten next year did this with me earlier and she made one herself and she had a fun time with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start, try to line up my paper so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna start by taking a bowl or a small plate and laying it down in our middle of our paper and we are going to trace that with a pencil. So try to get it in the center and you're gonna lightly trace that with pencil. Please do not trace a bowl or a plate at home with a marker because you're gonna get a marker line all the way around. So please make sure you use a pencil. Now, you would do all of the steps that I'm about to show you in pencil first. That way, if you mess up, you can erase it. But I am going to go ahead and do all these steps in marker because marker shows up so much better on the camera. So I'm going to start by tracing this circle with a marker so you can see it. It's hard to see that pencil on the camera. But remember, all the steps I'm going to show you, you are going to do in pencil first. Then you are going to trace with marker and then you can color in with whatever type of material you want to color in with because if Miss Hoffman messes up right here, it's just messed up, okay? And there won't be any fixing it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try to find my top point on my circle and my bottom point on my circle. And I'm gonna put a tiny dot there where it's not so big that anybody else is gonna notice it, but I can see it. And I'm going to draw a line from the top to the bottom. So I'm just splitting my circle in half. My paper's a little crooked, so it's hard to tell, but that's right down the middle. Now. Then I'm going to find middle here, middle here, and I'm going to draw another line. So I just put a big plus sign through it, okay? Now, if you have a ruler at home, it's gonna be a lot easier if you do a tiny dot with your pencil, tiny dot with your pencil, line them up with your ruler, and draw a straight line. Because I don't have my ruler here, and I'm gonna have to do this by freehand, so if you see some crooked lines from Miss Hoffman, just excuse that today. But if you have a ruler, this would be the time to go ahead and get that out. Now for our next step, we won't need a ruler because we want this to look like the sphere is popping out of the checkerboard background. So it's an optical illusion where it looks like the sphere is popping out of the checkerboard background. So I am going to do curve lines for my next step. So what I'm gonna do is right here from this dot, I'm going to curve like a crescent moon shape, going this way, and then I'm gonna go from top to bottom and curve like a crescent moon shape from top to bottom. And then I can go back in and add some more if I want my checkerboards to be a little bit closer. I could even add some more if I want them to be a little bit closer. So you're just going to be doing curved lines. You can see how important it would be to do this with a pencil first. That way, if your lines get a little crooked, you don't mess up. Then you're going to do that same step going the other direction. I'm gonna go from here to here. Curve line, curve line. You can see that's gonna start making our checks. Curve line, curve line, curve line. So now I have a disco ball going on in the middle of my paper. Now if you like that look, you can stop there, color that in like a checkerboard, and make a cool background, make it look like a spatter, splatter paint background or polka dots in the background or drippy paint in the background and that would look really cool. But we're going to continue on this one and put a checkerboard background. To do that, I need to draw straight lines going this way, but I'm gonna start with my middle line so it lines up with the line on my sphere. And it's, again, easier if you have a ruler, that way you can kind of keep it symmetrical through, but Miss Hoffman's just gonna to have to do the best she can without her ruler and try to keep my spacing correct. Okay, so I got that side. Now I'm gonna go this side. My 
ones are already getting a little crooked, we'll just pretend they're not like that. Remember, art doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think anybody will notice once we get it colored in. Now, we got the lines going this way. Now, I have to go the lines going the other way to make the checkerboard. So I'm gonna start in the middle so my lines line up to the sphere. That just adds a little bit more to the illusion that the sphere is popping out of the background, okay? And then I'm going to draw lines going this way, trying to keep it the same on both sides so that when I get to the end of my sphere, it will make sense and be the same number. We don't want more checks on one side than the other. All right. So now I have a sphere popping out of the background. Now, these are going to look best if we color them in. It looks pretty cool right now. These are gonna look better if we color them in. It's gonna look better if we have contrasting colors. So black and white would look really cool together. If I was going to do that, I would want to color this one black, and I could do this with my marker if I wanted to. And then remember, you can trace over all your pencil lines with marker to make it stand out even more. I'd skip this one. This one would be black. I'd skip this one, this one would be black. I'd skip this one, this one would be black. And when I would start my next row, I would do opposite. Since this one's black, this one will be white. Since this one's white, this one needs to be black. And then so on up the row. My little friends, if you're challenging yourself and doing this with um, some help at home, then you might want to uh, have somebody put a little dot on which ones you need to color black. So maybe put a dot there, there, there. They can go through. That's what I did with my, my youngest, Sadie, who is uh, five. She went through the steps with me and drew it, and then I went through and put a little dot on each one that she needed to color in, okay? Now, we want to pick contrasting colors. Black and white work good, but there are other contrasting colors you could choose. So complementary or contrasting colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So here's my little color wheel. We know that yellow, blue, and red are the primary colors, and green, orange, and purple are the secondary colors. So for my kindergarten through second grade friends, we know red like a fire truck, yellow like the sun, and blue like blue jeans. And then for our secondary colors, it's orange like an orange, purple like grapes, let me take a second to eat our grapes, and green like grass. So that's our color wheel. We know these are the hot colors, woo hot, or the warm colors, and these are the cool colors, burr. And so we've learned all our color groups. But now we need to learn about complementary or contrasting colors. Complementary or contrasting colors are colors across from each other. So yellow and purple contrast each other, which means if I put them right next to each other, they're gonna stand out against each other really well, just like black and white will. Orange and blue are across from each other, and red and green are across from each other. Now, if we were going to be doing our cool marker trick where we add water to mix colors together, we might not want to pick complementary colors because if you mix these two colors together, they're gonna create brown. So if I mix red and green, or orange and blue, or yellow and purple, it's going to create brown. So we might not want to do that on this particular project. We might just want to color it in. So orange and blue are contrasting or complementary colors. So if I wanted to do orange and blue instead of white and black, I would do the same thing. I would color it in blue, I would color it in orange, I would color it in blue, I would color it in orange, and I could have somebody help me label which one's which, which is what I did on this one. You can see the background is also colored in like a checkerboard, and it creates this just really cool effect, and it's really not that hard to do if you follow the steps, but it looks really complicated, and you can impress people with your awesome artwork. I hope you give it a try. Let us know if you did. We'd love to see them. Thanks. Bye.